money when I'm talking. Outline in your chop, ref a Ricky when I'm walking. Wildin' like I'm Stone Cold Steve, I fucked up bitch in Austin. Just pass me the rock, I don't know how much I pop. This and Derek, that ain't wise, 88 bullets gon' drop him. Chicken in the pot, got your girl watching my In New York, I'm Millie Rock, my shooters told a 30. What's good, guys? Keep he back with another tutorial for you guys. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to achieve this nav vocal effect in FL Studio using nothing but stock plugins. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a before vocal effect and then I'm gonna show you the after. Actually, in the intro, you already heard the, the uh, after vocal effect. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the before. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and like these videos. I have a ton of more videos. I have a ton of uh, vocal effects for you guys so you can listen to those, so you can watch those, learn from them, and hopefully you can make your own type of uh, vocal effect from them. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the final presets that I use to create this nav vocal effect, but I'm not going to get really into how to how I came up with these vocal presets, so just be aware of that. I'm sure it's going to take a while to copy all these, so if you do want to just download this FLP, you can certainly do that in the description, so feel free to do that. You can download this one and many more at beatsbykey.com so go ahead and check those out all right so without further ado let's get into this thing i'm gonna go ahead and turn off all these vocal effects that i have my main vocals and ad lib so you guys can hear what it sounds like with just my vocal effects now a little disclaimer I do, I do not sound like nav i'm an audio engineer and a producer i'm not an artist i never claim to be but i just want to show you guys like what i sound like before because i want to show you that you know you don't necessarily need to have the greatest voice to achieve this vocal effect and in this case i definitely don't sound like nav so just be aware of that so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i sound like here i just sort of two more now i got three different watches <laughs> see my haters talking make sure that they watch it real buses listen talking money when i'm talking outline in your chop ref a ricky when i'm walking yeah. Wildin' like I'm Stone Cold Steve, I fucked up to Nostin' Just pass me the rock, I don't know how much I pop This and Derek, that ain't wise, 88 bullets gon' drop him Chicken in the pot, got your girl watching my In New York, I'm Millie Rock My shooters told a 30, he can't hide it in his sock I am not a rapper, all these other rappers soft They hoping I fall off, but all right perfect and there is an audio delay uh so when i'm sitting here dancing in my headphones they're on but <laughs> you know you get it but anyway as you can see nav has this kind of vocal effect that has like a horsey flangus type uh vocal effect so in the delay i actually have a chorus plugin in there so uh we'll get to that too the first thing that you want to do is make sure you know how to record your vocals in fl studio if you don't know how to do that i actually have a video showing you just that so go ahead and watch that before you watch this and then once you know how to record your vocals in fl studio the second thing that you want to do is make sure that the target mixer track is properly set to the mixer, the correct number in the mixer slot. So you can see here that these are my main vocals. I didn't label it, we can simply label it. If you hold down shift and click, left click, you can actually, it brings up a, a label menu. And then you can type in main vocals. Oh, you can also color it too if you want. We'll make it a cool purple. And then these are my ad libs. And we'll make these this color as well or a different color I guess but yeah if you double click the vocals you can see that these are tracked out to two and that's tracked out to two I recorded these vocals raw into a Rode NT2A microphone in and that's recorded into a Focusrite Scarlett 6i6 audio interface and when I recorded these raw I just tracked it out to two and you can see that these effects are applied to that vocal so in the main vocals, we'll start with the pitcher. As you know, Nav uses a lot of auto-tune. So what I did was this key, this was set to a C sharp minor scale. And I obviously turned the gender to male. And then I, I increased the speed to right about here, the fast. So we got that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn these all off before I forget. The next two is an EQ, a parametric EQ two. So what I did here was I, I added an EQ sweep. I cut off the low volumes here, but I got this like bouncy ball effect going on here. And what this does is it takes out the unwanted frequencies in the vocals. So all I did was I raised the gain 
and listen to what a bad frequency sounds like, whether it's boxy, tinny, and it sounds horrible, um, I just decrease it from there. So we'll go ahead and undo that, control Z to undo. After I got that, I ended up getting another EQ in here, and I know this EQ looks a little bit different, but um, what Nav has, I could, you can see here that in the mids and mid highs, he focuses on his vocals around that range. And then I also cut off more of the lows here. I increase the cut in band one to four squares and you can just left click and increase that or scroll down to increase that to four squares. I also cut off the highs here and then uh, kept everything else the same here. We can hear what this sounds like with and without the vocal effects. You heard what it sounds like before so I'm just gonna go ahead and play it with these vocal effects. So I'll play it right now. I just ordered two more, now I got three different watches See my haters talking, make sure that they watching Real buses listen, talking money when I'm talking All line in your chalk, rap for Ricky when I'm walking yeah. Wildin' like I'm Stone Cold Steve, I the all right, so that's what we got there. I know it's pretty quiet, so I hope you guys have good headphones on because uh, you won't really hear a big difference if it's through your phone speakers. So just make sure you have good headphones on, something that you could hear the quality with. The next thing that we have is two Maximus plugins. The first Maximus plugin is gonna be a de-esser narrow band. All I did was load the de-esser, uh, went to here, and went to de-esser narrow band but I adjusted the highs and lows here and just decreased it a little bit to right around negative 6.6 .6 decibels. You can see the number of how much I decreased it by in the top left hand corner. So we have that on and then the next Maximus is a essentially an EQ and a compressor. So it's gonna decrease the volume of the vocals right away. It's also gonna EQ it a little bit more and what I did was I decreased the, the volume right here to right around negative 10.8 decibels, the mids right here to negative 3.2, and I kept the highs, I increased it just a little bit to 0.02. It's not gonna really make a big difference, but the highs are needed in his vocals because Nav has, uh, Nav uses a lot of the highs in his vocals. And then I just used the mids and highs to compress the vocals a little bit more. Kept everything else the same, so we can hear what this sounds like all together. So I'll turn these off and then I'll turn them on midway through. I just ordered two more, now I got three different watches. See my haters talking, make sure that they watch it. Real buses listen talking. I'll turn this up. I just ordered two more now. I got three different watches. See my haters talking. Make sure that they watching. Real buses okay, listen talking off. money when I'm talking. I'll line in your chop. Right for Ricky when I'm walking. Wildin' like I'm so close, Steve. So you can hear that it got quieter after I turned on the vocal flex. The thing is, where we get that, where we add that beef back into the vocals is with Sound Goodizer and a Fruity Limiter. When you load Sound Goodizer, I kept it to the plugin C and I increased it to this amount. And uh, you can actually hear a difference just by turning on and off Sound Goodizer. So without, I'll play it without first. I just started two more. Whoops. Without first. And then with on. Make sure that they watch it. Real buses so you can definitely hear. Money. So you can definitely hear the difference when you turn Sound Goodizer on. And Sound Goodizer increases the wanted frequencies in the vocals. That's what we got there. And then the Fruity Limiter also increases the vocals. I use this as a compressor and a limiter. What I did on the limiter side is I decreased the ceiling to right around negative 5.5. And then what I did was on the compressor side, I made the threshold to right around negative 12.6 decibels. The knee, I didn't do anything. The ratio, I kept that to one. The attack, I just added a little attack, um, a little bit of the release, and then just a little bit of the sustain too. I noticed in Nav's vocals, it's a very quick attack and a very quick release as well. So uh, that's what we have there. And then as far as the gain goes, I increased that to 3.4 decibels. That is what we have here. So with, I could turn this off here and you can hear what this sounds like first. I just ordered two more, now I got three different watches. See my haters talking, make sure that they watch it. Real buses listen talking money when I'm talking. I you didn't hear a really big difference in the volume, but what it does is it increases the, um, like let's zoom in on this vocal. You can see that this part right here is a little bit louder than this part um, right here in the vocals. What this limiter does. All right. So I'm just gonna pause it and just show you. What that ceiling does is it pretty much makes it so that it looks like it's clipping, but it's not. 
um, it's all it's doing is it's pushing down on that vocal saying like this is the limit that you can go and then with the gain and the compressor acting you can see that it's making it so that the volume is pretty much even throughout the whole mix so that's what we have here for the limiter it just increased the volume of the low volumes in the in the vocals moving on to the effects so this is what i use i use a flangus effect this is a really cool effect he definitely uses this in a lot of his vocals it gives it that coursey feel let's uh play that with this on and then off so off first outline in your chalk right for ricky when i'm walking wildin like i'm so cool see the f***ing austin just pass me the rock outline in your chalk right for ricky when i'm walking Oh, I could turn the beat off too. I didn't. I forgot to do that. Okay. Outline in your chop, ref a Ricky when I'm walking. So you can definitely hear that Corsi effect, and it adds a little bit flangus uh, stereo sound in your right and left ear. Now moving on to the ad libs. There's not a lot I did here. Everything else is pretty much the same except for the EQ sweep. Took out the band, this uh, second band, and the third band in the vocals, and then I just moved the frequency above a little bit more to cut out a lot of his vocals, so it gave it this kind of cool effect. Yeah. yeah, so that's what we got yeah. there. Now, I have a little bit more effects in here. I have the reverb and delay as far as ascends go. Now, for the reverb, I made it so there's a little bit of decay, only a little bit of the high cut. And yeah, you could pretty much just copy these settings if you'd like. That's what I have there. And then I also have a delay, which for the fruity delay, um, this is what I did. So I went set and then four steps kept everything else the same except the ping pong right there I, I moved the feedback to ping pong uh, so it gave it a really cool effect for everything so when we go here we can activate these I'm walking while like I'm stone cold Steve I the bitch in Austin just pass me the rock I don't know how much I pop this in Last but not least, I have an Ozone 8 Elements on here. This is like my go-to. Uh, it's pretty much clean limiting. I, I went to presets for Ozone. I went to clean limiting and I increase the ceiling to negative 0.1. What this does is it increases the whole master track so you guys can actually hear the vocal effects. You can see that I mix very low. The Yulin loudness meter, all this does is it tells you where the volume sits on the track overall, the loss of the volume. So this doesn't do anything with the master track itself. Ozone 8 elements though, it does do a whole lot uh, to the volume as well as the mix itself. That is pretty much it and that's all we have for today guys. I hope you guys like this nav vocal effect. If you do, go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments what vocal effect you want to hear next. I'm starting to get quite a bit of comments now as far as what vocal effects to do next. Forgive me if I don't get to your vocal effect right away, but just know that I do see it and I am trying to work with it. So other than that guys, I hope you guys have a blessed day. I appreciate your guys' time. Peace.